Hey, what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Tropicana Juice Train Reefer car. Now, Reefer is just a nickname for refrigerated car, and these cars are being used to transport orange juice from Florida, and here's what it looks like. You may have remembered I made an animation way back, if you're an old-time subscriber, of my original Tropicana Juice Train car, but now this one is a whole lot more detailed and it's made possible by Trainmaster3985. So thanks everyone for making this video possible. Now let's get started on the build. So first we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate in the middle of the tracks. This is going to be the air brake hose. And let's add a dark oak slab right above it. Then behind we're going to add a smooth quartz. And then a row of three quartz or smooth quartz stairs. Then we're going to add an upside down one in the front, both sides, like that. Then we're going to add smooth quartz slab to the side with an oak slab behind it. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add a row of five cross using smooth stone slabs or smooth quartz slabs. Then add another one to the edges, while in the middle there's going to be a smooth stone slab three blocks wide like that. Then in the middle, we're going to add three blocks wide of stone. And this part, it's going to be 26 blocks long. After we make this 26 blocks long, let's go to the back, add smooth quartz in the middle, and upside down smooth quartz stairs on the sides of it. Dark oak slab sticking out for the coupling with a dark oak fence gate underneath. Then we're going to go to the edge, add some blocks temporarily, so it sticks out like this. Five blocks tall, one two, three, four, five. And then we'll add in upside down um, smooth quartz stairs to the sides of it and they're gonna face inside like that. Then we're gonna delete these blocks and do the same thing on the other side, making it five blocks tall again and adding in these stairs facing inwards. Then delete these blocks and then we're gonna connect these two parts together so that they are one unit all the way across like that and then we're going to add a smooth quartz in inside this corner here then we're going to add three block tall birch fence gates in the corners and this to the side as well the other side same thing and in my version there's an iron trap door but unfortunately we can't make that go down so just place an oak trap door and close it like that. Now on the roof, there's going to be another brick slab up here and smooth quartz slabs for the rest of it all the way across like that. So now we're going to make the bogey. Let's go down here, skip these three blocks and gonna add a pair of wheels, which is gray terracotta. Skip two, add another pair, dark oak uh, fence gates, sides of the wheels and two nether brick slabs in the middle then nether brick stairs facing back to back. Dark oak buttons on sides of the wheels. The flip side, the same thing. Now we're gonna go to the other end of the car. And we're gonna skip these three blocks and add in another bogey, same exact design. Just uh, make it over here. Fence gates, try to make that all right. Um, another brick slabs and another brick stairs. And the dark oak buttons on sides of the wheels. Very nice. All right. Then we're gonna go to this edge area and we're gonna add in a birch fence, two blocks tall right above that slab. On, on the sides, there's gonna be three blocks tall like that. Then the side here, we're going to add it two blocks tall and a birch fence gate two blocks tall here and open them up. Other side, same exact thing. All right, then we're going to add in the smooth quartz and that's going to be four blocks or five blocks wide like this. Then we're going to make this four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four in the rest of the area 
Then in the front, we're going to add three blocks wide, black concrete, birch buttons on sides, smooth quartz underneath that, and ladders the sides of that. The middle is going to be a dark oak button, and the row underneath is stone brick slabs cross. Now on top, there's three blocks wide of nether brick slabs, followed by smooth quartz slabs, five blocks wide. And we're to continue this smooth quartz slab all the way across to the other side. After we filled in the roof, let's go on this side, add dark bruce marine brick right here. And I'm going to make it five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Add in a smooth quartz and orange concrete. Then smooth quartz for the top row. And then the bottom three rows just fill in all of that with the smooth quartz, like so. Then we're going to add a column of smooth quartz again, so it looks like this. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So add uh, dark prismarine, five blocks long, smooth quartz, orange concrete, and smooth quartz. To fill all the rest in with smooth quartz. And this bottom row as well. Like that. Then we're going to add acacia button dangling up from that orange. And underneath here, we're going to make 2x2 two two dark oak buttons. A pair of stone buttons underneath that. Skip block, stone button, birch button, birch fence, I mean birch sign and a dark oak button right above the stone button. Go to the other side, and we're gonna add a acacia button down below to this, the two by two here, and the two stone buttons, skip one, stone button, birch, and then birch sign, and dark oak button. This is kinda like the same thing. Uh, but this car is a little bit asymmetrical on this side. It's a slightly uh, more quartz on this side, so. We're going to add in two more uh, quartz pillars, so let's add that, like so. Now we're going to add in the doorway, so to make that, we're going to add in these uh, quartz stairs upside down. Well, one's going to be right side up at the bottom, but the rest are going to be upside down, like that. Then it's going to be right side up, right in front of it. Like so, and then we're going to add two of them facing outwards, like that. And this bottom portion, there's going to be another brick stair, so let's add that. But the rest is going to be quartz stairs all the way to the top. Then on this side, we're going to add upside down, just skip one block, upside down. Right to the bottom area, but before the bottom, there's going to be two back-to-back -back, uh, quartz stairs like that. Now this middle area is going to be a right side up, facing towards the rest of the door. And this is the door design. We're also going to fill in the inside part with um, smooth quartz. So let's fill that in, like that. Very nice. Now we're going to add the door on the other side. So to do that on this side, the door is going to be right side up at the bottom and upside down across the top section and then right side up after it. Then there's going to be two in the middle here, quartz stairs here, and then nether brick stairs and quartz stairs for the rest. Then skip a block, add upside down, almost all the way to the bottom, but at the bottom there's going to be uh, two back to back like that, and then right side up on the column like that and fill in the inside parts with the smooth uh, quartz in the gaps. Then we're going to add five quartz stairs at the bottom, so one, two, three, four, five, and at the top five, which are going to be right side up, one, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side, five at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and five at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Now these are the railings for the door to actually slide on. 
And then I'm going to fill in this bottom area in with uh, smooth quartz. Same thing on the other side. And the rest of this wall we're going to fill in with smooth quartz on both sides. Once we filled in the walls with smooth quartz, we're going to add birch buttons right here. And then a dark oak button line up with the wheel here. Birch button in front of it. And a stone button in the top corner. Now for the other side, just pretty much do the same thing. So add in the birch buttons. And then dark oak button line up with the wheel. Birch button in front of it. And a stone button in the top corner. Then for the bottom area, we're going to go to the front. Add in iron trap door at the edge. Skip a block, another one here. And then we'll add a smooth quartz slab underneath this first part of the door. Then we're going to go in the spaces between the wheels. We're going to fill in the sides with iron trap doors all the way across. Then on this side, we're going to add in two iron trap doors on the very edge. Same thing on the other side, just two here that fill in this middle area, except this part here, we need a quartz slab right there. But the rest is going to be iron trap doors. And then um, these two spaced apart at this side. There's also going to be a nether brick uh, slab, just like one block ahead of that other slab on the other side. Like that, just on this side. And now you'll see like there's this little stone that's annoying. We're going to replace that with smooth quartz like that. So it's all white and go on the other side and repeat the process like that. All right. So yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the Tropicana Juice Train Reefer Car. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And thanks to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning the build. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.